The term French West Indies or French Antilles, French, Antilles Francaise refers to the seven territories currently under French sovereignty in the Antilles Islands of the Caribbean. The two overseas departments of Guadeloupe Basse -Terre and Grande -Terre, Martinique The two overseas collectivities of Saint Martin Saint Barthélemy The islands forming dependencies of Guadeloupe, namely Les Saintes Marie Galante La Désiratidou to its proximity, French Guiana is often associated with the French West Indies. History Pierre Belaine Desnambuc was a French trader and adventurer in the Caribbean, who established the first permanent French colony, Saint-Pierre, on the island of Martinique in 1635. Belain sailed to the Caribbean in 1625, hoping to establish a French settlement on the island of St. Christopher Street. Kitts. In 1626 he returned to France, where he won the support of Cardinal Richelieu to establish French colonies in the region. Richelieu became a shareholder in the Compagnie de Saint Christophe, created to accomplish this with Desnambuc at its head. The company was not particularly successful and Richelieu had it reorganized as the Compagnie des Isles de l'Amérique. In 1635, Desnambuc sailed to Martinique with 100 French settlers to clear land for sugarcane plantations. After six months on Martinique, Desnambuc returned to Saint Christopher, where he soon died prematurely in 1636. His nephew, Jacques Dial du Parquet, inherited Desnambuc's authority over the French settlements in the Caribbean, in 1637 becoming governor of Martinique. He remained in Martinique and did not concern himself with the other islands. The French permanently settled on Martinique and Guadeloupe after being driven off St. Kitts and Nevis Saint -Christophe in French by the British. Fort Royal Fort de France on Martinique was a major port for French battleships in the region from which the French were able to explore the region. In 1638, Jacques Dial du Parquet 1606 nephew of Pierre Belaine Desnambuc and first governor of Martinique, decided to have Fort St. Louis built to protect the city against enemy attacks. From Fort Royal, Martinique, du Parquet proceeded south in search for new territories and established the first settlement in St. Lucia in 1643, and headed an expedition which established a French settlement in Grenada in 1649. Despite the long history of British rule, Grenada's French heritage is still evidenced by the number of French loanwords in Grenadian Creole, French style buildings, cuisine, and places named for X. Petite Martinique, Martinique Channel, etc. In 1642, the Compagnie des Isles de l'Amérique received a 20 year extension of its charter. The king would name the governor general of the company, and the company the governors of the various islands. However, by the late 1640s, in France Mazarin had little interest in colonial affairs and the company languished. In 1651 it dissolved itself, selling its exploitation rights to various parties. The Du Pocket family bought Martinique, Grenada, and Saint Lucia for 60,000 livres. The Sieur de Houel bought Guadeloupe, Marie Galante, La Desirade and the Saintes. The Knights of Malta bought Saint Barthélemy and Saint Martin, which were made dependencies of Guadeloupe. In 1665, the Knights sold the islands they had acquired to the newly formed 1664 Company des Indies Occidentales. Dominica is a former French and British colony in the Eastern Caribbean, located about halfway between the French islands of Guadeloupe to the north and Martinique to the south. Christopher Columbus named the island after the day of the week on which he spotted it, a Sunday Domingo in Latin, 3 November 1493. In the hundred years after Columbus's landing, Dominica remained isolated. At the time it was inhabited by the island Caribs, or Kalinago people, and over time more settled there after being driven from surrounding islands, as European powers entered the region. In 1690, French woodcutters from Martinique and Guadeloupe begin to set up timber camps to supply the French islands with wood and gradually become permanent settlers. France had a colony for several years, they imported slaves from West Africa, Martinique and Guadeloupe to work on its plantations. In this period, the Antillean Creole language developed. France formally ceded possession of Dominica to Great Britain in 1763. Great Britain established a small colony on the island in 1805. As a result, Dominicans speak English as an official language while Antillean Creole is spoken as a secondary language and is well maintained due to its location between the French-speaking departments of Guadeloupe and Martinique. 
In Trinidad, the occupying Spanish had contributed little towards advancements, despite the island's ideal location. Because it was considered underpopulated, Room de Saint Laurent, a Frenchman living in Granada, was able to obtain a cedula de poblacion from the Spanish king Charles III, on 4 November 1783, allowing French planters with their slaves, free cholerids and mulattoes from the French Antilles of Martinique, Granada, Guadeloupe and Dominica to migrate to Trinidad. The Spanish gave many incentives to lure settlers to the island, including exemption from taxes for ten years and land grants in accordance to the terms set out in the cedula. This exodus was also encouraged by the French Revolution. These new immigrants established the local communities of Blanchisseuse, Champs Fleur, Paramon, Cascade, Carinage, and Levental, adding to the ancestry of Trinidadians and creating the Creole identity. Spanish, French, and Patois were the languages spoken. Trinidad's population jumped from just under 1,400 in 1777, to over 15,000 by the end of 1789. In 1797, Trinidad became a British Crown colony, with a French-speaking population. The two official French overseas departments are Guadeloupe and Martinique. Saint Martin and Saint Barthélemy, formerly attached to the Department of Guadeloupe, have held separate status as overseas collectivities since 2007. These Caribbean departments at Collectivités d'Outre-mer are also known as the French West Indies. <inaudible> French Caribbean The French Caribbean, or Francophone Caribbean includes all the French-speaking countries in the region. It can also refer to any area that exhibits a combination of French and Caribbean cultural influences in music, cuisine, style, architecture, and so on. The Francophone Caribbean is a part of the wider French America, which includes all the French-speaking countries in the Americas. However, the term varies in meaning by its usage and frame of reference. It is not used much in France, unless the speaker wants to refer to every French dependency in the Caribbean region. This term is thus more ambiguous than the term, French West Indies which refers specifically to the islands that are French overseas departments, which means they have overall the same laws and regulations as departments on the mainland of France. Collectivities can be included too. The following Caribbean regions are predominantly French-speaking and or French Creole-speaking French Republic Guadeloupe Martinique Saint Barthélemy Saint Martin French Guiana Independent Nations Haiti Dominica asterisk Saint Lucia asterisk asterisk equals gained independence from Great Britain English is its official language but French based creole languages are widely spoken by the island population due to a period of French colonization topic <laughs> former French West Indian islands In addition, some of the islands of the present and former British West Indies were once ruled by France. Among some of them, a French-based Creole language is spoken, whereas in others the language is nearing extinction. Specific words and expressions may vary among the islands. Topic: See also. List of governors general of the French Antilles. American West Indies. British West Indies Dutch West Indies Spanish West Indies References, <references>